But we begin tonight with the legal battle involving Rick Worshi Jr., also known as White Boy Rick. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Worshi Jr. is suing the city of Detroit and former FBI agents for $100 million. He claims he illegally had his rights violated while working as an underage drug informant in the 1980s. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykad was in federal court in Flint and has the arguments made on both sides. A federal judge is now considering if Rick Worshi Jr. should be able to sue feds, former agents and prosecutors. At the same time, defense attorneys arguing a statute of limitations should still apply. Outside federal court, Rick Worshi Jr., known as White Boy Rick, discussing his federal case against feds and the timing of his filing after more than 32 years in prison. I think that the government and, and the powers that be are still trying to lie and cover things up that they did. Worshi and attorney Nabia Yad claiming longstanding fears of retaliation kept him from filing allegations sooner. His lawsuit alleging he was illegally used as an underage drug informant from the age of 14 by the FBI and prosecutors. Worshi became the focus of a Hollywood film and documentaries as the longest serving nonviolent drug offender in Michigan, whose testimony helped secure convictions of drug dealers, corrupt law enforcement and others. He's now been free for three years. This individual was not able to go to his dad's funeral. Uh, he was not able to go to graduations for his children. He was not able to be part of society for 32 years and seven months. Defense attorneys for the city of Detroit, the U.S. Attorney's Office and others arguing a lack of specific threats made against Worshi Jr. And claiming he showed no fear when publicly making accusations against law enforcement. Outside court, defense attorneys declined interviews, but they had told a judge a statute of limitations, which expired, should still apply here. And in fact, agents and prosecutors took steps over the years to help Worshi Jr. Why was I helped for 30 years, Simon? It, it, it makes no sense. They used him, they, they reused him, they abused him, they reabused him. Ayad also arguing attempts on Worshi's life since he began working as an informant play into this case, plus evidence of fears with prosecutors withdrawing support for Worshi after publicly writing letters on his behalf. Worshi claimed 16 months in isolation in a Florida prison was also evidence of retaliation, and lastly, that he feared his one year parole could have been potentially revoked for filing a federal suit. Today's hearing ended with a judge saying she will soon be issuing a written opinion in this matter. From Flint, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon.